is next. Have a great weekend. Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. He is one of the most recognizable names and faces of city government in Hampton Roads. Tonight, Anthony Burfoot is a suspect in an FBI investigation. Norfolk City Treasurer faces a list of serious charges dating back a decade and involving a lot of money. It is a busy Friday night, but our big story at 6, a bombshell dropped on Norfolk City Hall. Instead of going to work, Norfolk City Treasurer Anthony Burfoot went to federal court, all thanks to this 30-page indictment. The crime inside it, all surrounding a corruption probe dating back to events in 2005. It alleges that Burfoot solicited money and items in exchange for the use of his power in city council as vice mayor and as treasurer. Ultimately, it could mean decades in prison for a familiar face to the people of Norfolk. We have two reporters on this major story for the city. Ten of your sides, Andy Fox, sorts out the facts behind the indictment. First, Jason Marks at federal court with more on what happened there today. Jason. Well, Tom, Anthony Burfoot turned himself in of federal marshals earlier today. He is facing, as you mentioned, some very serious charges. Charges his attorney says just aren't true. Everything. We are prepared to fight everything. Absolutely prepared and ready and raring to go. Norfolk City Treasurer Anthony Burfoot and his attorney Andrew Sachs are confident in Burfoot's innocence. He's facing eight federal charges of public corruption. Anthony knows what he did and didn't do, and he knows he didn't do these things. So when the, you know, the truth is the strongest ally you have in a case. In the indictment, federal investigators laid out the case against Burfoot after months of digging through city records. The Fed say he used his role as vice mayor and city treasurer to accept money and gifts. He's also charged with perjury because investigators say he lied under oath when they asked him about it. We, everybody had heard rumors on, on the issue and it was people were praying that it wouldn't happen. Burfoot's former council colleagues hope what they're hearing isn't true. It's unfortunate and I pray for him, I pray for his family and that he can get through this. It's bad for the city, it's bad for the citizens um, and it doesn't promote the trust and the healthy relationships that we work very hard every day to try to create with our citizens. So it's very, it's very unfortunate. Sachs says the last couple months have been very hard on Burfoot. They're now looking forward to their chance to clear his name. Will you be at work Monday? Yes, sir. So you're not stepping down or anything like that? Absolutely not. He says he's not going anywhere. The one city official has already come out and said he should take a leave of absence until this court process plays out. But as you just heard him, he's not planning to do that. Burfoot will be next in court here at the federal courthouse in Norfolk, January 20th. We're live in Norfolk tonight. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. All right, let's turn on 10 on your side's Andy Fox in the newsroom. Andy, you got reaction from city officials and a deeper look into the indictment itself. Yeah, Nicole, Tom, I've read the indictment. Prosecutors will tell you this is a classic quid pro quo. You do this for me, and I'm going to do this for you. Federal prosecutors allege in exchange for his official actions, Burfoot took over $425,000 in kickbacks, meals, drinks, entertainment, travel, free renovations to his home, high-end appliances, and his car loans paid for. February 2011, there's Norfolk Vice Mayor Anthony Burfoot in the audience, Tyvest Development and Construction CEO Dwight Etheridge. A city project that could make Tyvest millions, Burfoot made happen, but now falling apart under a cloud of suspicion. There's a lot of things being said. I worked my whole life to build my character, my integrity. That was then, and this is now Etheridge, serving a 50-month term in a federal prison on unrelated charges. And if he's convicted, Burfoot could be going to prison too. Councilman Andy Protegiro. I'm not surprised at the indictment coming down on issues involving Tyvest. Not surprised because rumors have turned into an eight-count indictment. The beginning of the end, Burfoot pushing a Tyvest six-story midtown office tower on this property. The indictment alleges Burfoot performed official acts to benefit Tyvest, including voting for the office tower. The Fed state Burfoot got $50,000 from Etheridge for making that happen. It's a little bit of anger at the sense that uh, this should have been fleshed out with more discussions, honest talk years ago when this issue first came before council. Burfoot voted to give Etheridge the land cheap, promised him city council votes, which approved the project. Not Protegiro, though. He voted no. Something wasn't right. This is a great example of where those of us who questioned what was going on didn't 
follow along and have and voted no. A lot was wrong. According to the indictment, Burfoot, an advocate for the Third Ward, had his hand out again and again and again. Ten on your side knew the whispers. We asked Burfoot last April, have you done anything wrong? He said, no, I have done nothing wrong. He may have lied to us, but he answered the same question the same way under oath in court. And that got him four counts of perjury. Now, the allegations are amazing when you read them. How many times Burfoot allegedly came to the assistance of Dwight Etheridge and other Thai Best partners? He was a silent partner, by the way. Just a few voting on ordinances, resolutions, accommodating the pain of Thai Best taxes. The indictment reads, Burfoot did this as an as-needed basis as opportunities arose to benefit the individuals and their interests. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Norfolk Mayor Paul Frame emailed us this statement today. These are serious and distressing charges, but as mayor and a lawyer, I have learned not to speculate. My trust is in the legal process as it runs its course. A little more now on Anthony Burfoot. He was born in Norfolk and graduated from Lake Taylor High School. He was elected to city council in 2002, representing Ward 3. He became vice mayor in 2007 and took the office of treasurer in 2013. Our coverage continues on wavy.com where you can read the entire indictment. And we'll have the latest tonight on Wavy News 10 at 10 and 11.